March has ended. It is now April. So that means I can share with you all the top five fragrances that brought me the most joy for the month of March of 2024. Let's get on into it. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, everyone. The Santa Maria here. Yes, we're doing the top five fragrances of March 2024. And it actually shocked me because the list ended up being very different from what I was most excited to wear, kind of, sort of. And you will see what I mean. <laughs> but alas, before we get into that, lipstick of the day today, everyone. I am wearing MAC Marrakesh, which is like a brick orange or brick red, depending on your skin tone. Let me know what you think in the comments below, as well as all the details on the face will be in the description box below. So you don't have to ask questions about it. <laughs> Next up, we have fragrance of the day fragrance of the day is from bond number nine which is quintessential spring to me i love them in springtime this is bond number nine's madison avenue the pretty baby pink bottle with the black ribbon that is what this is i already have a full dedicated review up on the channel about this one so feel free to check that out at your own leisure but alas madison avenue mm -hmm. is your fragrance of the day so now that we've discussed that let's get into these fragrances now in the number five spots yes this one i literally started wearing on the first day of March straight up because I could finally talk about it even though I've had long before March but I really rocked it out in March. Number five spot this goes to Wilhelm Parfumeries and this is Sparkling Joe. Yes so this one has notes of champagne, bergamot, juniper at the top and then we have hard notes of pear, ginger, and ambrette and we have base notes of musk, oak, wood, and ambergris. This one literally what the top notes are is the most prominent. For me it is the champagne at the top and then the pear and the ginger in the middle for sure. Do you do get that musky dry down? That's what you smell as the day goes on but most importantly I just enjoyed the champagne note. So this is a fragrance that it actually did last me through the day but I mostly enjoy the opening so I'll refresh it because it's champagne. I mean who's mad at champagne? Champagne means we're celebrating something. That means we're celebrating life somebody just got a promotion somebody just got some money somebody just got a good health report that to me is sparkling joe so why not wear that one in my birthday month it just makes sense because we're celebrating life so my number five spot goes to Wilhelm Parfumerie's sparkling joe in the number four spot now this one was a newer addition to the collection although I did have a sample of it prior to March this one could make the list because the sample got upgraded at the same time but I was still wearing it the type of thing the number four spot goes to Creed's Carmina yes Carmina the this is the definition of a redemption story because again I hated this one at first but now I love it because I smelled it in the springtime when the floral notes in this come out more so it has top notes of black cherry saffron and pink pepper Mm. There's middle notes of May Rose, Peony Violet, and then there's Cashmere Wood. We have base notes of Musk and Broxen, Myrrh and Frankincense. So this one is giving us fruity, it's giving us florals, but it's also giving us incense and whatnot. We're also getting a little bit of woodiness as well. So there's a lot going on in this in a good way. And I finally found my first creed that I truly, truly felt was full bottle worthy. As you can see right here, I got me a bottle of it. So in the number four spot, it goes to Creed's Carmina. This was a wonderful release from Creed. They just released it in the wrong season. It was more so in like the late summer early fall no try this scent in the spring i cannot emphasize that enough because it is the season and time of year is what changed my mind about this scent for sure so again that is creed's carmina in the number four spot in the number three spot now this one something happened i just kept reaching for this one and i wasn't even necessarily in a like clean or musky type of vibe but it just kind of found me i just found myself reaching for this i think it started because i started wearing bond number nine scent of peace a little bit more in late february so i think that's where that clean fresh musky thing kind of transferred over into february but the scent that had me in that category for number three this is clean classic nordic light this is not talked about enough. This is so slept on. And y'all, what's even better about this scent? You're gonna love the price. It's only $44. <laughs> so no, everything that's a favorite does not have to be $300. <laughs> it doesn't. This is $44, y'all. But let me get into the notes of Clean Classic Northern Light. We have top notes of bergamot, mandarin, and orange. And then we have middle notes of vanilla orchid, lily, and magnolia. And then in the dry down, we have notes of musk, sandalwood, and praline. This, to me, is what smells like the soft life after you just had an amazing bath where you just sat and luxuriated and all that and so with your special almond milk type of bubble bath and all that. That is what this is to me. It's just giving pamper pooch. It's, it's just, I'm taking it easy and... 
I just found myself reaching for this. I just did. Something happened. I just found myself reaching for it more and more this month, and here we are. So clean, classic Nordic light absolutely goes in the number three spot. Now the number two spot, now this is a scent that actually gets a lot of love. <laughs> I gotta admit that this one gets a lot of love in the fragrance community, particularly if you are a Sephora girly, you have smelled this at some point, so let's talk about it. In the number two spot, this one gets a lot of love, you all, especially if you're a Sephora fragrance person, you going in and shop and smell around a whole lot this is for you you definitely put your nose on this one at some point or another i gotta say that this is from clean reserve and this is clean skin yes the clean skin fragrance and i have to say this is one I've had this bottle for years now. I started with a tester size of it, then I upgraded and purchased the full size bottle. I've had this bottle, I wanna say about three years now at this point. This is one, like I said, I burned through that tester and then I got the full size. This thing is something about it. I'll step away from it for months at a time and then I'll come back to it. And for some reason, I just kept coming back to it in the month of March. It became a bedtime scent for me. This is a scent, it's something about it, y'all. It just works. But let me get into the notes for you all. So we have top notes of bergamot, orange blossom, and honeysuckle, and we have middle notes of warm skin accord vanilla orchid and then we have sunkissed peony then we have dry down or base notes of salted praline fresh musk and white cedarwood for me it's the praline and the vanilla in here and the musk in here is done very delicately. It's not too loud, it's not too harsh. So that's why I don't mind wearing this one to bed. But this is why I just found myself reaching for more and more and it was just very pleasant. It was also good as a like date night in type of scent. Say for example, head up and I, we would make snacks and sit on the couch and watch a movie or whatnot. Perfect for those type of nights. And that's what I did with this scent. So that's why this scent brought me joy because it was just easy and it was a relaxing scent. So clean reserve skin, you definitely make the number two spot. And now for what you all have been waiting on now what fragrance made the number one spot because i've been talking very highly of all the other scents so let's get into it in the number one spot you all this one and wow it's a blind buy and it's interesting last month's favorite was a blind buy as well so blind buys are up right now so number one goes to dior and this is miss dior parfum 2024 edition this is the newest release from dior this one has brought me so much joy to the point that i've already done its dedicated review you can definitely check that out on the channel but if you haven't i'm gonna go ahead and share the notes for you all to check out so top notes of miss dior parfum 2024 we have our mandarin orange we have apricot and peach then we have middle notes our wild strawberry and floral notes and jasmine and then we have base notes of patchouli amber wood amber moss and atlas cedar <sighs> they did the fruits right in this they did the fruits right the fruits are doing what they need to do this one has become my sunday perfume i have really been enjoying this on sundays just for any type of event or brunch church what have you that is why i've enjoyed this scent so much i even took it home with me when i went on spring break and this scent it does what it needs to do. This could actually be someone's signature scent for this spring because of how well and how versatile it is. And another thing I have to admit about this scent, this one to be a fruity scent, it lasts. It lasts a full day. I don't have to bathe in it to get the effect of it. So for this one, it definitely showed out and did what it needs to do. And I also like to, this is the smallest bottle. This is the 1.2 ounce size. You still get the full presentation. And this is enough for me because again, a scent I don't have to bathe in to get the effect, but it's giving me everything I need. It's giving me fruity but it's also giving me a heavy base so it's actually going to last but it's not overwhelming at the same time so this one is perfectly done and as y'all know in my dedicated review i told y'all i haven't been interested in this line in years but they finally brought me back so here we are miss dior parfum 2024 was the number one fragrance it deserves the crown it did what it needs to do <laughs> so all right everyone that wraps up my top five fragrances for the month of march of 2024 let me know your thoughts in the comments below do you agree with my list do you like some of the fragrances that are on my list do you hate some of them you know that's fine too also tell me what were your top five for the month of march let me know in the comments below and i will read them because you all are very entertaining elves <laughs> Y'all are very entertaining and I enjoy it. It's a fun community down there and I definitely will comment and respond when I can. But alas, I will catch you all in the next video. Bye y'all.